Hi everybody, I'm Adventuring Armadillo, and it's finally actually feeling like autumn here. So, I thought that I would try out some treats for the season. Since this is the week of Thanksgiving here in the States, and Thanksgiving is sort of the pinnacle of autumn holidays for this country, I thought it would be appropriate to try some fall snacks. However, um, varying from this idea of talking about Thanksgiving being a big fall holiday here in the United States, I went a little further east to get my snacks. I purchased recently a box of uh, treats from Japan. The company that I purchased all of this through is the website CandySan. And I'll be leaving a link below in the description for this website because CandySan has definitely won a return customer for me. This video is totally not sponsored, so don't think I'm saying this because somebody paid me to. What I'm saying is that CandySan has great prices, uh, not only for the treats themselves, but for shipping. They have great selection, and the shipping is fast, so it's all I could ask for. Um, Candy Sand, to me, it's better than the subscription boxes that I do for Japanese treats because I get to pick out what's in these. So I know I'm not going to pick out anything that is totally not something I want unless I need it for something. Um, it's things that I wanted, things that I chose, and it's at a price that I determine. If it gets to the point where this is too much, I don't have to buy this next month. I bought this this month just because I wanted to. And so, uh, and you know, I know some subscription boxes will let you do that, and some subscription boxes you pay all at once, but I really enjoy just buying the candy from Candy Sun and um, getting all the sweets, all the treats, all the awesome things that you can get from Japan on that website. So today I will be trying some of the stuff that I purchased from that website, and I also when I made this purchase, in addition to buying all these awesome fall things, I bought just a ton, just, I bought 11 Umaibo, so, and I already have one uh, from another box, I have one extra, so I have 12 Umaibo, uh, and I will be doing a future video on taste testing umaibo so keep an eye out for that in the future but right now what i have are some fall treats from japan and i have seven fall treats from japan these are all seasonal items uh, that were made with fall or i think it's all fall there may be some winter flavors in here but uh, these were made for this season with ingredients that would be typical of fall food in Japan. Things that I suppose a Japanese person would eat and think, oh, this tastes like fall. And I'm hoping to be able to do this again in the future with winter, spring, summer, uh, different seasonal treats from uh, Japan or from wherever I can buy them. But right now with candy san Japan, uh, with candy san I now have a great source for seasonal treats from Japan. So I plan on fully taking advantage of that in the future. But for right now, let's get started on some of our treats that I purchased from Candy Sun that were fall themed. And because I'm going to cross over a little bit here and have some American fall flavor with my Japanese fall flavor, I decided some of these treats would go great with a cup of hot apple cider. So, hot apple cider, some Japanese fall treats. Let's get started. The first treat that I'm going to try out of this box is... I'm making sure I've got my translations right. I have 
translated the names of the products over to one side. I've also got the Candy Sound website pulled up in case I need to check. Okay, I didn't write this down. This is a box of caramels. Box of caramels, and this is a special, this is a, a company that makes caramels that you can buy year round, and you can buy several different flavors. But this package is a Mont Blanc flavor, which is going to be a uh, chestnut cream flavor. Oh, Morinagas. There you go. All right. Since 19, what is it? Since. On top of the box, it says that this company's been around, or these caramels have been around since 1913. So I'm going to open it up. The caramel box does come completely out of the plastic, uh, debating on whether or not I should take it out. Oh, I should, because like uh, many great products from Japan, the packaging... Oh no, never mind. So I took it all out of the plastic. And inside we've got some stuff that uh, if you didn't know better, you might look at and say, oh, those are bullion cubes. But I'm going to take one of these out. There looks to be about... Ten, twelve? Ten or twelve in here? Set the box aside. Well, oh... I knew this opened that way. Look at that. Japan never lets me down. On the back is some... I have no idea. I have no idea what that was on the back. But now we know there are 12 caramels in the box. And I'm going to put the rest of them back. And I'm going to try to find where to set things. I'm going to open it up. So, uh, it's not focusing. I don't know why. But you can tell that this is sort of a darker colored caramel. Uh, is it? It's not super soft. But not, like, rock hard either. So I'm going to try it. I'm honestly not the biggest caramel fan. I also have um, a cavity that I'm going to go get filled. So I'm going to eat this carefully. Mm. It smells, um, it smells like a cake. So, for Americans, this texture is a lot like a Tootsie Roll. Um, this flavor that... is it's chestnut flavor or Mont Blanc flavor but to me I guess I have eight products because this is not on my list this sort of has a coffee taste to it Yeah, this sort of tastes like a, like a, like a very nice cup of coffee. It is nutty. It is kind of a roasted flavor. 
those would be the best ways I would think of to describe it is, is a roasted nutty flavor. Which makes sense because it is, to the best of my knowledge, it's roast chestnut flavor. So, that makes sense. Um, the next thing that I'm going to try is sticking with the Mont Blanc theme. I am going to try this Tohato Tohato brand caramel corn in Mont Blanc flavor. So this should be more of that chestnut cake flavor. package it smells like <laughs> French toast crunch a little like coffee a little like maple syrup so the candy the caramel corn themselves is not like a caramel corn uh, like you might buy at uh, a festival or something. It's more like a cheese puff or kind of like those um, Chester's puff corn that you can buy in the United States. It's either butter or che cheese flavor. Um, that's sort of what it looks like. Not unlike a styrofoam packing peanut. Ooh. I like this. I like this very much. The Mont Blanc flavor is very subtle. You don't taste it. It doesn't taste super different from the regular of this brand, Caramel Corn. But I love this brand's Caramel Corn because it tastes... Um, Another thing for American viewers, this tastes like corn pop cereal. Uh, it's a little softer than corn pop cereal, but that is what this tastes like. And I love corn pop cereal. So we're sticking with the Mont Blanc theme since I've got one more Mont Blanc treat. And so that one last Mont Blanc treat that I have is this. Kinoko no Yama Mont Blanc flavor, um, which I believe translates to mountain mushroom or mushroom of the mountain. Um, and what these are, these are some of my favorite Japanese treats. In fact, I keep a box of the plain flavor uh, around the house just so that I can grab a handful, um, grab three or four, uh, whenever I feel like just having a little snack, a little chocolate pick-me-up. So it opens like this. You get this little flap. Flap, 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 flap. And there's this uh, pattern printed on the inside. Now I don't think that's different from the regular one. Except the regular one I think is usually green. So, should be able to just open this bag, which we can. I give it a smell. Smell it first. Smell test. This sort of smells the least pleasant of all the Mont Blanc flavors so far. Um, you know, the, the caramel and the um, the caramel and the po uh, caramel corn both had a sort of coffee, roasted nut, maple syrupy smell. This one has that smell, but it smells a lot more chemical. Um, there is some sort of undertone that I can't quite um, can't quite place, but it's a really sort of chemical like smell. So this is. 
This is the Kinoko no Yama, which gets its name because it looks like a little mushroom. Uh, usually they would be chocolate, solid uh, milk chocolate that it's dipped in. This one is white chocolate, which the top is this tannish color. The top is a tannish color, the bottom is a white color, um, which I'm assuming sort of represents the Mont Blanc that has the white uh, cake or cookie um, with the chestnut cream on top. So I'm going to eat one whole. Mm. Huh. I'll be honest, the white chocolate is sort of an overpowering taste. You don't taste the chestnut nearly as much. Which is kind of unpleasant because I've sort of started liking that flavor. Thanks to the uh, caramel corn. Now, that was the last of my Mont Blanc flavors. I do have, however, one more chestnut flavored treat that I got from Candy Sum. And what I have is a maron or chestnut flavored dorayaki. Um, this dorayaki is made by a company in Chiba Prefecture. Uh, it is like two pancakes, supposed to be some uh, Atsuki paste in the middle, or some Anko paste in the middle. Anko is the paste. Anyways, so see some red bean paste in the middle with uh, some bits of the chestnuts. So, gonna open this up. I have a love hate relationship with uh, red bean paste. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Um, And I don't really know if there's a rhyme or a reason as to what makes me like it and what makes me dislike a red bean paste product. This is a heck of a package to open. There we go. I was trying to open the end that didn't have the cake right up against it, but... Appear to have gotten into it without doing too much harm to the cake. Taking this kind of off screen. Ooh. This is amazing. So here is the dorayaki. Uh, you can see it's kind of thick. Uh, the top, it looks kind of pancakey. Um, I don't think you can see it because my camera just doesn't have the resolution high enough to tell. But you can actually see through the pancake from the little holes in it, the bubbles, how it's made. It smells kind of like a snack cake. Like you can tell there are some preservatives in it, which um, I'm thankful that there are preservatives in this one because otherwise I wouldn't get to try a dorayaki, um, especially not one that actually came from Japan and was not frozen. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to cut the dorayaki, which doesn't take much work at all. It's very soft. Here is the inside of the dorayaki. I think you're mostly seeing red bean. I don't know that you can see any of the chestnuts. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like this is a... Um, the less smooth of the, the red bean paste, the less smooth of the onko. No, the onko is very smooth, but there are little crushed pieces of, of the chestnut in it. Which this is absolutely fantastic with a cider. 
Um, it would be great with tea or coffee as well. It's not overly sweet, but it's not undersweetened. Um, you know, American dishes have a tendency to be overwhelmingly sweet, just incredibly sweet. Um, meanwhile, some European dishes tend to not be super sweet at all. And I feel like this sort of this sort of threads the threads the needle. Uh, it hits perfectly in the realm of not too sweet, but not unsweet. I will say though, most of what I taste is the uncle. I've not had a dorayaki before. This is the first dorayaki I've had. Very great experience. I will be trying more. But I don't know if I could tell the difference between this one and a plain one. Of course, most of what I taste is the yanko. It's good, though. All right. So most of the products that I got fall into one of two flavors. They are either the chestnut Mont Blanc flavors or sweet potato. Those seem to be the big fall flavors for Japan. So to go in between my nonstop block of Mont Blanc and my sweet potatoes, I am going to try something that is a little different. And this is Koala no Machi, or Koala's March, Kinako Latte flavor. And Kinako is a um, toasted and ground soybean, which sounds great to me. I've heard it sometimes compared to the taste of peanut butter, which makes the latte bit a little odd to me. But, I can't imagine it being anything but good. Um, growing up, when I, was, when I was a kid, I grew up with Koala's March cookies and Hello Panda. Uh, the ones we get in the United States aren't quite as good as the ones I remember from my childhood. And so it's super nice every once in a while to get a Japanese box of the Koala's March because these do taste a lot more like the ones I remember when I was a kid. So all of the Koala's March cookies have a koala uh, doing a different activity or dressed up in a certain way. Um, I'll try to find one that's especially cute to show you guys. Like... This little guy, I'm not super sure what he's doing. At first I thought he was playing an accordion, but I'm not sure. Anyways, they're super cute. And they are just a cookie filled with chocolate, usually. Usually chocolate, but I believe this is going to be filled with Kinako Latte flavored white chocolate. There's the inside, and it is a Kanako 
latte flavored inside. It's a roasted, toasty flavor that tastes a little like something that's been cooked over a fire. And I don't mean like baked, I mean like toasted marshmallow taste. Um, there is a nutty flavor that I suppose is from the Kinako or Kinako. But um, that toasty marshmallowy flavor is super powerful and really good. Honestly, you could tell me these things were marshmallow flavored and I would just totally be 100% uh, in agreement. All right, three more things. And we have moved on to sweet potato flavors. And the next one that we have is, ah. The next one we have is from the, I believe, Bourbon Company, uh, Banchul flavor, or Banchul brand chocolate or cookies. Uh, and these are sweet potato flavored. So, uh, sweet potato flavored cookies, uh, or sweet potato flavored chocolate, uh, with cookies. It had two open here tabs, and I'm not sure why. Yep, I don't know why it needed two open here tabs, but either way, I opened it. Now it's just to tear this side off. It's kind of chemical taste smelling, which I've come to uh, associate with white chocolate, Japanese white chocolate at least, or flavored. It's probably the, the flavorings added to the white chocolate that make it that way. Um, but I've also found that's no indicator for taste. So closing the box back up. What there was was a tray of some cookies. They were not uh -huh, in the best shape. They have, you know, flown over. I've heard these are like long de shot cookies with a bit of uh, chocolate in the middle. So there's the cookie with the chocolate sticking out of the edge like it's a cheese sandwich. It smells savory. A little herby for some reason. I don't know what that is. It tastes really chemically. They taste, I don't know what it is. It tastes like a smell that I've smelled before and it's not a good one. Um, not my favorite at, by, at all. But sticking with sweet potatoes. <clears throat> this is Take no, Take no Kono Sato, sweet potato flavor. So this is um, some bamboo shoot cookie candy. Uh, you open up the box. This is made by the same people that made the uh, mushroom. It's got another bag that you pull open. Woo, wow. The smell. These don't smell 
like chemicals. They smell like cream cheese cake icing, which is weird. Because that is in no way something I would associate with a sweet potato smell. Not unpleasant, but odd. So here is our little bamboo shoot candy. Um, it's purple. The sweet potato chocolate part is purple. It is melting in my hand. Uh, there looks like there's some little flakes in the purple. And then there's the little cookie bottom. It's mostly just a white chocolate taste. It's underwhelming again. Well, Japanese sweet potato. Something happened. When I drank the cider after eating the purple sweet potato candy, it was delicious. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what it was. I just know that it was good. But anyways, Japanese sweet potato candies, you've got one more chance to impress me. And that is going to be with some of these Tyrol sweet potato chocolates. Now, I will open these up. But what's super special about these chocolates is you don't just eat these things. Three of them are printed in yellow. Three of them are printed in this purple color. I wonder if there's a difference. I don't think so. Okay. So, you can just eat these right out of the bag. But, these are a special chocolate. These chocolates were made to be baked in an oven. And so that's what I'm going to do. I am about to go put one of these in my oven for two minutes. Uh, until it gets nice and toasty and then I'll come back and I'll try one without baking it okay so I have my chocolate in the oven for the next about two minutes I am going to try one of the other uh, one of the chocolates by themselves though so when you unwrap it you get this nice cheese yellow slab of chocolate. It smells custardy. It tastes custardy. It has a soft center that may have a bit of sweet potato flavor to it. But overall, this mostly tastes a little like egg custard. So now we just wait. Okay, since I don't have a toaster oven, mine didn't get the nice toasty brown on top the way that they did in the picture. And it mostly even kept its shape. It is super soft now, which going to make eating it super difficult. I don't know how you eat this. Should I just... Okay, Japan. Gotta level with you. That was the first sweet potato flavored thing that I've had that tasted like sweet potatoes. And it was fantastic. All right. Until next time, this has been Adventuring Armadillo. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do whatever, share this with people. Um, be nice to each other down in the comments and be nice to me.
please. Had a bad week. Not a fun time to be me. Anyways, later.